Welcome to another Mike's Models 2011 how to video. This video will focus on how to remove pad printed graphics on scale model vehicles. Would you like to know how to go from this to this? I thought so. Over the next few minutes I'll show you a very cheap and easy economical way to do this on any model that you buy that has pad printed graphics and um, it's a very very simple easy fix you have to be very careful because you can destroy the model you can damage the paint but with my tips and a little bit of your own talent you should easily be able to remove pad printed graphics from any scale model vehicle the first thing I want to start off by saying is if you're under age 18, you need to have adult supervision and the chemicals that you will need to purchase to take these pad printed graphics off will be required to be bought by an individual over the age of 18 years. If you're under 18, I don't suggest you do this at all. Um, you have to be very careful. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a pretty easy to get, well known. Uh, chemical. So it's, it comes in a spray bottle, but uh, if you're under 18, you know, absolutely, number one, uh, adult supervision. If you don't have adult supervision, don't do this. As a matter of fact, if you're going to, if you're thinking about doing this without adult supervision and you're under the age of 18, quit watching now. Close out the video because I don't want any part of this. You need to be aware that as with any aerosol container the this chemical as well as any other spray paint brake cleaner anything that's in a bottle a uh, air slide spray bottle can be abused uh, you can die if you abuse this uh, one thing you need I suggest is a pair of gloves and a mask um, it's just for health reasons again for the 50th time if you're under age 18, do it with adult supervision or don't do it at all. Now, I'm going to get to what you will need. You will need a few Q-tips like this or cotton swabs. You will need a can of Goof Off that can be purchased at your local hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, probably even Walmart. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the cotton swab and you're going to spray a very, 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 very small amount of goof off onto the end of the Q-tip and or cotton swab, whatever you call it. And you're going to take it on the model. I'm going to get up as close as I can. And you're going to very gently rub across the printing that you want to get rid of. And it will quickly remove it. A couple seconds ago the word you was there. Y-O-U. It is no longer. We'll move up to the next word. It is very important that you don't put too much goof off on the q-tip or cotton swab because you will bubble the paint you'll take the paint right off and you do not want to do that because you will destroy the model if you do that do this very sparingly be very careful goof off the chemicals in the goof off are flammable do not do this anywhere around a lit cigarette, a lit pilot light, make sure you have adequate ventilation. Before you begin this process, even if you're over the age of 18 years old, you need to take a minute and look at the can and review the information for your own safety and your own protection. I highly suggest you do that before you begin this process. Now, as these graphics come off, 
they may leave a little bit of a film you just go over it a second and a third time with the q-tip cotton swab and eventually all of the graphic material will come off again if you don't do this properly if you use too much the paint will come right off so you don't want to do that because nobody wants to destroy a model that you have just bought nobody again that's another reason that if you're under the age of 18 I do not suggest you do this because you don't want to get distracted while you're doing this you want to do this to completion a lot of kids these days who are under the age of 18 seem to think it is cool to smoke it is not and I could foresee even an adult smoking a cigarette trying to do this on a model and severely injuring themselves and or causing a flash fire if you don't know what a flash fire is go look it up remember ladies and gentlemen Google is your friend and they will also gladly take your information and sell it to any third party individual that names the proper price now you can see there's a little bit of a film left on the truck on the box so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more on here on another tip q-tip and quickly without messing anything up try to get it off and you need to take the dry end of the q-tip and get it off as quickly as possible you don't want to leave a film because it will take the paint right off the model I've got to end this pretty quickly but what I want to show you is the front this particular piece right here in the front this air deflector, it's plastic. Don't put this stuff on plastic. It'll melt it. You've got to do that a different way. That's going to come off eventually. That little air cone that looks like crap. So, I'm not even going to worry about it. But that is simply, cheaply, and easily how you take pad printed graphics off of a scale model. Be very, very careful. Again, if you're under the age of 18, don't do this without adult supervision. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.